Hello and welcome to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans where we have a wide selection of over 50 new and pre-owned conversion vans in stock ready for immediate delivery. If you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button so you can be assured you see all of our new videos as soon as they arrive in the lot. Also, if you want to see any of the still pictures of the specific van or anything else we have in our lot, please visit our website at sherryvans.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y V-A-N-S dot com. Today we're showing you a brand new arrival 2011 nine passenger Chevrolet Explorer limited SE conversion van. Guys, this is one of the top of the line conversion vans when in 2011 when this, when this vehicle was built. It is a high top um, conversion van with interior height just over five and a half feet. On the front, you're going to notice it does have the upgraded front painted bumper along with a really nice pull down step up when it comes to cleaning that front windshield that is an extremely nice thing to have as you can notice this is a black exterior um, and this black exterior is flawless this paint looks amazing um, I don't see any dents I don't see any scratches for a black vehicle this is extremely hard to find in this good condition 17 inch aftermarket rim wrapped in a Firestone tire with a lot of tread left left that's a 80 to 90 percent left um, looks very very nice also you're going to notice on the side with, 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 with it being a limited SE you do get this really nice ground 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 kit that runs all the way along the side of both sides of the van and it hides the running or the step up when you're getting in and out of this van which is a really nice feature and this is a four-door conversion van a lot of the newer conversion vans don't have this ability where you can get out uh, from the driver's side in the back um, so not only can you get out on the passenger side in the back, you can also get out on the driver's side, which is nice when you have multiple people in the van. This particular van has the 5.3 Pentastar, or not Pentastar, extremely well V8 motor that GM's had around since I believe 2005. It's tried and tested, really good motor, um, and plenty of power when pulling this conversion van around. On the rear, you're gonna notice it has a really nice upgraded rear bumper with sensors, backup sensors built directly into this van. Also up top in the rear, it does have the backup camera capability on this. So this van, when you put it in reverse, uh, it will let you uh, see what is behind you on your uh, radio, which we'll show you inside. Really clean inside overall, uh, black interior. So black outside, black inside. And like I said, it is a seven passenger seating. So what you're gonna get in the rear of this conversion van is one row of captain's chairs, as you can see here. And then you're also gonna get a power rear bench located right behind the captain's chairs um, that can be laid flat, um, which is a nice feature if you need to pull over and catch a couple hours of sleep. With the limited SC, you're also gonna get your power sunroof that's located right above the rear uh, power sofa. And then also towards the top, you're going to have all these little compartments. They're all the way around the top of the van. Um, great for storing your knickknacks in them. Um, maybe small blankets or pillows. Um, really, really useful when traveling down the road. Also above every uh, two in the rear, reading lights, as you can see there. And there's also two more above the captain's chairs. Plenty of cup holders throughout this van. You're gonna notice right beside the bench, uh, the power rear bench, you're gonna have two on the, on the left and then also two on the right. Tube lighting running throughout this van along the side, as you can see there. And then also we have the infinity lighting on the ceiling right above the captain's chairs. This particular van does have a rear heat and air system, so you can operate it from the rear of the conversion right here. Or you also have the opportunity or the option if you're the driver or passenger up in the front seat of overriding this rear, um, this, this rear AC and seat, AC and heat system where you can operate all up front um, if you want to do so also. Really nice upgraded Vizio flat screen TV. In the center console, located between the driver and passenger seating, you're going to have your capability of putting your CD in right here for your DVD player that goes runs through your um, TV, which I just showed you. And then you also have capability of plugging your game system in if you'd like. Um, so you could power a game system up and play it directly through the TV also. 
on the front of this conversion van this this conversion van the front two seats are both power lumbar and they also do have power or not power heated seats the seats look to be in very very good condition i don't see any rips tears uh nicks in them they seem to be in almost brand new condition um this does have a touch screen radio um so as you can see you can change your go to am fm it also has xm capability on this on this particular van which is a really nice feature also this this vehicle is nav capable um it just does not have the disc if the disc uh, is actually inserted in here then you actually do have your navigation capability right there on your uh radio screen right above that you're gonna have all your controls to operate your front ac and heat system and then right up top, you're gonna to have your controls for your rear AC, rear AC and heat system that you can override uh, right there. Pretty basic up front. Uh, as you can see, it does have upgraded uh, plastic dipping, what we call it right here, to match the uh, conversion van through in the back. So it kind of gives it a nice wood grain, which is a really nice feature to have. Um, you do have capability on this particular van where you can program your phone directly into it. Um, so you can simply answer your phone by simply hitting uh, the button on the on the steering wheel while you're driving down the road and have your conversation directly through, through the speaker system also have the, your, your controls to operate your radio right there on your on your on the right hand side of your steering wheel and then your cruise control settings are on your left hand side so overall very very nice conversion van uh, like i said it is a seven passenger 2011 is the year of this this explorer limited sc so it's got all the bells and whistles when it comes to explorer um, with, with, with their conversion vans, just over 70,000 miles on it. The exterior paint on this is in very, very good condition. I'd rate the inside at also very good condition. Also, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button so you can be assured you see all of our new videos just like this one here today as soon as they arrive at our dealership. And guys, we ship nationwide. So don't worry if you're all the way across the United States, we'll put the van in your driveway. Usually it takes less than a week for us to complete the paperwork through, the, through uh, UPS or uh, FedEx, and then we can we could ship your van immediately upon us getting a driver to take it out there for you. If you wanna see any of the still pictures of the specific van or anything else we have on our lot as far as conversion vans, please visit our website at sherryvans.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y vans.com and like always for the guaranteed best price i one of the dealers with the biggest selection in the united states when it comes to conversion vans make sure you always shop paul sherry conversion vans